Welcome back, everyone, to the frenzy. The Bluebirds of Highlands are determined, John, to forget about 2017 oh, yeah. because, as we know out there in Fort Thomas, six and six, yeah. it just doesn't cut it. No, it doesn't at all. Getting the season started at home against the maroon and gold of Cooper. The Bluebirds fly onto the field with a lot of spirit tonight, and they struck quickly. First quarter, the handoff goes to Cooper Schwalbach, and Cooper ran all over Cooper. This went for a score. Highlands had an eight nothing lead right off the bat. And Here's something on week one, a punt highlight. Grady Kramer is going to, once these fans are done here, puts the leather into this one. This one travels 77 wow. yards, and it lands in the old coffin corner all the way down to the one-yard line. Boy, that's quite a quick kick. But the Jaguars made something happen in the second quarter. Jeremiah Lee finds Mikey Armour. He makes a diving catch. Cooper's on the board, just down by one. It didn't last very long. Highlands was just too much to handle. Hunter Alfold catches a bullet. He takes it down the field. Highlands is a runaway. 36-7 winner tonight. It'll be interesting to see if Highlands is truly back. They call it week zero in Kentucky, John, and with good reason, because lots of teams end up going home with zero points at the end of the night. New Cath hosting Scott. First drive of the second half. Chad Omer. Oh, my. That pass picked off by the Breds is Caleb Jefferson. He has a nice return. The defense. As always, sets up the offense. Paul Kramer rolls out and fights a wide open. Hunter Kane gets his head, shoulders, knees, and toes in. Brett's up big in this one. Another turnover, though, for Scott. Just before the skies opened up, first it was the rain, as you see the umbrellas, and then the Brett's passing attack. Kramer is going to go deep to Aubrey Posey. Hezekiah Miller later finishes off this drive. New cap 41. Scott, though, where's that zero in this week zero <laughs> match? They certainly do. Down by the old lazy river, Brosser and Dayton getting together tonight. A couple of teams with green uniforms, but they're going to be brown by the end of this night. Brosser went for broke here. Samuel Howard looking for Grant Hobner. He had it. He oh. didn't. Then he had it. Oh, he didn't. Rats. Dayton made a comeback with its special teams. Austin Klosterman fielded this punt, and he weaved his way for some pretty good yardage, but it didn't lead to much. Young and old out there, boys and girls out enjoying this opening night. Hi, 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 how you doing? Still playing football the old-fashioned way in the grass and the mud. Sometimes it looked like a rugby scrum. Rosser scores a 21-0 victory tonight over Dayton. Nice looking game there. The Chick-fil-A cows saying hi to us out there in Brookville. <laughs> Thanks guys for hanging out, overlooking the game. Hopefully watching a frenzy tonight. New tonight, Newcastle's Dakota Durick deeks and darts and does some damage on this run. Long TD run, 14 nothing early for the Trojans. The Trojans though have some winged horses as well. Drew Barber to Tristan Cheshire down the sideline. He's gonna be tackled just outside the 10 yard line. And Luke Bumbala, I love that name. He can catch and throw passes. He brings in this TD here. John, he's headed to Ball State as a point guard next year. Franklin County fans still cheering on their team despite the 21-0 hole. Austin Bremer rewards them with this long TD reception down the sideline. But Newcastle, a little bit too much, 42-12 to over Franklin County.